So we've got three of our monsters done. I'll go up and view all, fit all in window. So we've got the white ghost, the blue blob, a little bit of tutorials on each one of them, and cheesy. Now I'm going to go to my fourth artboard. Double click on green octo. Get down there. And make sure that I've got my layers open so that I'm working on the proper layers. Um, I'll lock cheesy. New layer. Label it. Green octo. Now, this one is going to combine most everything that we've already done. Um, the one thing that is going to be kind of kind of difficult for you might be getting the octopus legs, tentacles built um, that connect to the body. Um, so... Um, Let's go ahead and get started on this one. Uh, I'm going to go to the rounded rectangle and uh, make it kind of big like that. Um, change the colors. I want it to be a black stroke. Um, and I want it to be, for the fill color, I want it to be kind of a lighter green than that. Let's... Uh, let's go right there we'll go right there now just like in the blue blob we're going to you take advantage of these anchor points or these uh, corner points here and we're just going to click and drag them into a shape like that all right so we'll slide that up just a little bit um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to, um, go ahead and create, um, the tentacles and we'll do just like what we did with the mouth on the blue blob. We'll, uh, use the pen tool and we'll create a stroke and we'll, we'll kind of start right about here. Remembering to stretch. And let's turn that fill color off for now. We'll go back, go to our stroke tool, give it a rounded cap, and Let's make this kind of big. Let's go up to, let's see what 25 points looks like. Uh, no, 25 is still too small. Let's go to 35. And we'll try that. Now, what we could do is move that right up in there like that. Get some of these things out of the way. And we could deselect it. Could go to our anchor points. Stretch that one down and out. Give it a little bit more of an arc like that. You notice that I'm clicking on the anchor point there and able to go and drag the handles out. Um, I'm going to stretch this out a little bit more. Bring that down, but then bring it up like that. Again, I'm not going to grade off on how well you arc that. But... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and 
then I'm going to, with the the uh, tentacles selected, I'm going to go up to Object, and I'm going to go ahead and expand those, make them a shape, fill and stroke, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the eyedropper, and I'm just going to click in the big ellipse that we created with that selected. So now my tentacles are the same color. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag a box around all of them. I'm going to go to my Pathfinder tool, making sure that they're overlapping, and I'm going to just go ahead and unite. And that's how you get those arms. Now, to do the other arms, again, just click. give it that kind of shape turn the fill color off right now go back to our stroke tool give it a rounded cap and we'll go make that stroke 35 like that and we'll go object. Hey, wait. Let's before we do that, before we make that object, let's try something. Let's go to our scissor tool. No, we'll, we'll we better expand it first. So select it, object, expand, fill and stroke. Then we're gonna go back with the eyedropper. Select that so it's the same colors. Now. What I want to do is I want to find some anchor points that are right in here. So I can go like this, find one there, and find one there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to those specific anchor points with my scissor tool, and I'm going to cut there and cut there. Okay, now I'm going to take this, I'm going to go Object, Transform, Reflect, Reflect it or, or vertically, but I'm going to make a copy of it. Bring that up there like that, bring that down there like that. And that's how my octopus is supposed to be. And make it, bring it up here. And then let's go down with the stroke to six. We'll take this one back down to six too. Okay. All right. Now, again, just like in. Uh, the other three we'll do object path offset path we can leave it like that go like that and then we'll change the stroke to a little bit darker green Make the stroke a little bit smaller. There. Now what we can do is we can do the same thing here. Object, path. Offset path. Of 
click OK. Now that's going to be a little bit different, but we'll go, we'll leave it like that. Oh, look what happened right here. We did the offset path and it closed it. So we don't want that. So what we need to do is go here and here. And delete. All right. That's the way that looks, but we probably should have done the offset path before we made it into a shape or made this stroke smaller. But that's kind of what your green octo should look like. All right. Now, the last monster is on artboard number five. That is your creation. You have to create your own monster. And uh, it has to be unique. It can't be just a star. It can't be a modification of one of your other, other four monsters. It can't look like the white ghost or the blue blob or the cheeser or the octo you need to create a whole completely different monster and I would prefer that it's not just a star okay uh, if you do a star I may not count it as credit um, so now before you turn this in please remember that you need to have your name uh, class period project name and in this case you want to have each artboard labeled. So I'll go up here, I'll go to my artboards. There's artboards. I'm gonna go to White Ghost. I'm gonna go up here in the upper corner. Should make sure that I'm on the right layer. Unlock that layer, select that one. Go to the text box, first name, uh, class period, this is white ghost, and the date of submission. Now, what I can do is I'll unlock all of these, and what I'll do is I'll go Command, or Command, let's do Option, I'll do that. Take this, drop that up here onto the blue blob. You see how the bounding box has changed? I'll take that, move it over here into the upper corner, go in, blue blob. And do the same thing for the other two, three. So just copy and paste them onto the proper artboards, and then you'll turn it in. Okay? Hope this helps.